bipartisan interview, Republican Senator Marco Rubio of Florida and Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York, both the co-sponsors of this legislation. Uh, Senator Gillibrand, let me start with you. Republican Senator Jerry Moran has said the VA has denied approximately 70 percent of veterans' burn pit claims since 9-11. How does this legislation ensure that the veterans will get the care they need? Well, first of all, um, this is a great effort by Senator Rubio and I and others to work on a bipartisan basis to make sure when our veterans come home, when they are sick because of their service, that they will be covered. And so this bill creates a presumption. If you served on the war on terror, if you served over the last 30 years and were exposed to burn pits, that any disease that you have, you are covered. And it changes the current process where survivors and veterans come forward they're denied, they're asked to prove epidemiological causation, they're asked to prove what was actually burned at the burn pits, they're actually proved which burn pit were you exposed to, it's an outrage. And so this bill fixes that, and now they're all covered. Senator Rubio, the Senate bill, as you know better than I, is named for Sergeant First Class Heath Robinson. He died a couple years ago from lung cancer after being exposed to burn pits during his service. His widow spoke to CNN a few weeks ago. I want you to listen to her plea to lawmakers. As you go through, you know, Senate building and the House of Representatives and Congress and Capitol Hill, you see POW flags all over the place. And you see these senators saying that they are here for veterans. These soldiers are actually prisoner of war at home in their own bodies as they're battling these health related illnesses from toxic exposures. And I'm asking you that we need this passed now. In the House, 174 Republicans voted against an earlier version of this legislation. In the Senate, 12 Republicans voted against moving forward with the bill in a procedural vote today. Um, what's your message to them as this bill, as you try to get this bill uh, signed into law? Well, there's a lot of different reasons why people vote against it. Some is based on cost, which I don't think is a good rationale, and others is based on uh, you know, the, the, the burden they think it'll place on the VA. But my view of it is this, the burden this is placed on families, okay? We have people who are, in some cases, at the end of their lives, and others struggling with this financially, their families are going through it. And then on top of everything else, you gotta fight with your own government that deployed you to these dangerous war zones to begin with, exposed you to these toxins, and then you come home with a serious cancer or other illness, and now your entire family uh, basically is turned upside down and not in addition to the suffering these veterans are going through. So this presumption, I hope, will provide relief uh, to, to thousands of families across this country that are dealing with this. And for people who don't know, burn pits, you, it, they're illegal in the United States, but they were allowed in Iraq and Afghanistan right near military bases or on military bases. Senator Gillibrand, veterans who worked on these burn pits have told me that they're frustrated with the VA. Take a listen to Army veteran Isaiah James last fall. He served twice in Afghanistan and Iraq. This is him talking about what it's like to try to get treatment if you have one of these diseases. Well, right now the VA First of all, they should be ashamed of themselves. Second of all, it's an adversarial relationship. The VA is basically victim blaming. They tell you, the service member, prove to me that you got this cancer from the burn pit instead of let me treat this cancer and let me go back on the back end and audit it. We, we need a VA that's going to actually take the charge that Lincoln set forth to care for him and her who have borne the brunts of battle. So, Senator Gillibrand, am I correct um, in assuming that the bill, yours and Senator Rubio's bill, uh, will allow anyone who has been rejected in the past a new opportunity to come forward and, and apply for these benefits with this presumption uh, that uh, the bill takes care of? Yes, it does. Um, the bill that Marco and I wrote specifically creates a presumption for anyone exposed to burn pits at any time. And what the larger bill that this was put into um, also addresses toxic exposures um, and some problems as far back as Agent Orange. So this bill overall is going to give veterans, service members, the support they need. They're able to now go to the VA and get the support. And my view is this is the cost of war. If you're going to spend billions and billions of dollars in wars all across the globe over many decades, you have to remember that when these service members come home, when they are our veterans, we have to stand by them. It is the least we can do because they give everything, even their last measure for this country. And Senator Rubio, I know you've been working personally with veterans and their families on this. What, if, assuming this legislation passes and becomes law, what will it mean to them? 
Well, I think it'll mean that they no longer have to be fighting with the VA. Look, if someone's shot down or someone's injured or a bomb goes off and injures you, that, that's the causation that the traditional system looks at. These things, that's, this is impossible to prove the way they're asking for it to be proven. But I think that there's a very strong argument for that presumption. You have people that are suffering from cancers way outside of proportion from what they would as members of the general population. And the fact of the matter is they'll never be able to prove that causation. In the meantime, their families are going bankrupt. They've had to quit their jobs to become full-time caregivers. So in addition to sort of the moral argument for why we shouldn't have to fight our own government to get this care of your veteran is the reality of what this means to these families and how devastating it is. And, you know, hopefully that, that line and that process will become simpler for them now so they can get the care they need. Well, let me just say, uh, as, a, as an American, more of this, please. It's good to see, and it's good to see Washington work, and it's good to see a Democrat and a Republican teaming up to, to help our, our men and women uh, in uniform. So thank you so much for what you did, and thanks for being with us today. Thank thanks you. a lot. Take care.